Hi guys! So today I am going to be doing my monthly favorites video for the month of September. I know I have been really really bad about favorites videos. I haven't done one in so long, but I just really haven't had any new favorites um, for the past couple months. So uh, this month I actually do have a quite good amount of favorites and I want to go ahead and share those with you guys. Some beauty products, some non-beauty products, um, but I figured I'd just go ahead and throw that out there. So let's just get started. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start with beauty products because most of you, that's why you're on this channel, because beauty products. Uh, the first thing is a makeup brush. My favorite... Okay, so camera, just mm, be nice to me. Anyways, I'm going to cool it a little bit more. Okay, so my favorite makeup brush of the month is this one right here. It is this nice, like, fluffy brush. Um, this is from the Sonia Kashda Holiday Collection last year. Uh, so it was a limited edition, but it's my favorite brush of all time. Like, I love this brush. If I could use this brush for everything. I mean, I try to. I really do. I try and use this brush for, like, absolutely everything. So, yeah. My favorite... Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. Sorry. My favorite makeup brush of the month, of the past few months, but I just had to show it to you guys. Okay, moving right along. Now, this one was actually a pretty recent purchase, but I did use it for, like, a week, um... In September so it still kind of counts I guess and it is the uh, Maybelline New York instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer that's a really long name but this is what it looks like and uh, I got the brightener illuminator which is the number 60 because I really don't need a concealer concealer because I have a really good concealer which is my Mac uh, NW20 but I really wanted more of like a brightener which I use underneath uh, my eyes and this works really really well absolutely love it. I've only been using it for about a week, but I am wearing it right now, and I think it does a pretty good job. So, yeah, if you want, like, a full review on this, definitely, um, let me know, and I'd love to go ahead and review that for the, for you. Okay, moving right along with makeup, my next two favorite products are actually from, uh, actually, my next three favorite products are from Wet n Wild, um, and the first two are lipsticks, and they just look like this, and these are the 99 cent ones, I believe, or $1.99, and oh my gosh, I love these colors so much. This one is 502A, and this is Dark Pink Frost. Now some of these have names and some of them don't, which I think is kind of strange. But yes, Dark Pink Frost just looks like that. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I absolutely love it. Um, if you guys want to see a swatch of these two colors, I will link my blog below. And you can definitely go check that out. And this next one is 510A, which is Light Beige Frost, which looks like this. Oh so so pretty I absolutely love these I've been wearing these on my lips constantly and I just think they're really really pretty for fall so next item on my list is the petal pusher palette from wet n wild I am just stinking in love with this palette oh my gosh I got it recently um, I probably got it I want to say like two weeks before September ended and I'm obsessed. This is beautiful. I love these colors. They're so pigmented. They're so nice. Um, it's actually what I have on my eyes right now. So if you guys would like to see the tutorial for this look, I will have that linked below once it's up. And please focus. There we go. Okay, focus. So if you guys want to see the eye tutorial I did uh, for this particular look using all these colors right here, um, then definitely I will link that below once that video is up, either before or after, I'm not really sure. At some point that video will be up and I will link it below for you guys. So yeah, the Petal Pusher palette is amazing. Um, for $4.99, it's a steal, but Wet n Wild is always having sales at CVS, um, and I don't know if they carry it at Walgreens or not, I've never actually looked, but I know at CVS they carry them, and Honestly, they always have sales on Wet n Wild, uh, so, I mean, if you can get this on a sale, that's even better, but for $4.99, kind of can't beat that. Okay, so, now, uh, moving on to the next category, our nail polish, and I have two favorite nail polish picks for this month, or for the month of September, since we're in October. Uh, the first one is Bling Dynasty from OPI, and this is actually a discontinued color, unfortunately. Um, I did get it before it got discontinued a few months ago, and... I'm obsessed. It is one of my favorite fall colors. Uh, it's just this nice, very fine, glittery gold polish, and it is like the epitome of fall time for me. I absolutely adore it. Um, I pretty much wore it on my nails for the entire month. Um, I finally decided to change them, and the color I'm wearing is Sounds Grape to Me by Nicole by OPI. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what I put on my nails now. But Blink Dynasty, absolutely absolutely my favorite, one of my favorite for, um, 
September. And then the second one was Shrimp on the Barbie by the Spoiled Wet n Wild collection. And it is like a beautiful rose gold color. It literally, it honestly looks like rose gold nails. Um, it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. Pink and gold and just beauty. Ah, oh, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite polishes of all time pretty much. Um, but I did wear it quite a bit in September when I wasn't wearing the Bling Dynasty. And I wore it, I believe... In August as well. I don't really remember, but yeah, okay. So I only have one accessory favorite for this month, and it is my BCBG bracelet that says true heart or true love. And um, my boyfriend got me this, and I was really, really pleased with it. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it all month, and I'll probably be wearing it for the next month and the months to come until I get a new one. Uh, but yeah, so it just looks like that. And it is the rose gold one. I absolutely love it. So pretty. Okay, so. Um, okay, so uh, since we're on the accessory train, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite pair of shoes for the month of September. And I absolutely love these. I've only worn them once so far, uh, but I'm in love with these. And you're either going to love these or you're going to hate these. My mom doesn't really care for them, but I absolutely love them. And they were a steal, so they look like this. And they are uh, Madden Girl, and I got these at TJ Maxx for... I think $10. I'm pretty sure. I always get these things for $10 to TJ Maxx. They're amazing. But yeah, so it has like this crocheted um, heel and then like the crochet right here. And I just think it's really, really pretty. See, I've only worn it once. And it, why does, does anybody know why TJ Maxx puts these numbers on the bottom of their shoes? It's kind of retarded. I don't know. It's just weird. Is that just me? Whatever. But yeah, so that's what they look like. They're a peep toe, just regular heel and I really like the scalloped part right here I think that adds some character to the shoe and I just think they're so pretty I actually saw them in black a few weeks after I bought these um and I didn't really like them that much I thought the black looked really cheap now honestly like the pink doesn't look like it's the most expensive pair of shoes in the world but it doesn't look as cheap as the black did so I don't know if you have the black pair I'm really sorry I just thought they were really cheap looking but anyways okay so a couple more things um I'm going to show you guys are my two favorite scents for the month. One is a candle and one is a body spray. So the first is a candle. This is the Spiced Cider. Oh my gosh. If you guys only pick up one candle this month from um, Bath & Body Works, it should be Spiced Cider. Oh, it smells so amazing. Um, and I know I put this in my favorite uh, fall candle scents, I believe, video. So if you haven't checked that out, I will link that below as well so you guys can go um, watch that because... Literally all the scents that I um, mentioned in that video are really awesome, but I've been loving the Spice Cider. And it is a delicious blend straight from the orchard that mulls three varieties of fresh apple spice with nutmeg and cloves. So absolutely, absolutely love this. But anyways, okay, and then the second scent that I have is my um, spray that I've been wearing, and I so love it so much. Um, it, it's amazing. I've been wearing it. I wore it all September, and I'm probably going to wear it all this month as well. Now, it absolutely has nothing to do with fall I, 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 like I don't even know why I'm wearing it but it smells amazing and it is the Paris in Bloom it looks like a cute little Eiffel Tower and um, this is just oh, so good it's really fresh it's it's very it, it does smell a bit florally but it also has like a citrus smell and I just I just think it smells amazing I absolutely love it it's, it's definitely just my favorite scent for this past month and probably this month as well. Um, like I said, it's not a fall scent, but it smells so good and I absolutely love it. And I've been, I literally, every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. So, um, actually, somebody told me that this smelled like the um, DKNY, the green apple. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head, but somebody told me that this smells pretty similar to it. Um, I didn't think that when I smelled it in the bottle, but they said smelling it on me that it kind of reminded them of that. So that's what they thought it was, but it was not. It was much cheaper. <laughs> so yes, okay. Um, and then just to you know be a little bit crazy and throw a couple things in here that aren't beauty or anything related, um, I wanted to tell you guys a song that I've been absolutely loving this month. And um, mom, if you're watching this, it is not the explicit version. And just for any of you people who are going to go check out this song, or if you already know the song, not the explicit version. Um, I don't really care for that. Honestly, I think there's no reason to call females that name. But um, Two Reasons by Trey Songs uh, featuring T.I. is definitely the jam that I was loving this past month. Uh, I don't know why. I love Trey Songs. Um, I really like his music and it's kind of like a guilty pleasure, 
the guilty pleasure music, I guess. That sounds really bad, but I really like Trey Song's music. Um, I always have, and Two Reasons is definitely the song that I've been loving this month. Although, I could live without the explicit version. Um, I think the clean version is fine. The version they play on the radio, love it. Uh, yeah, so, and then um, I wanted to throw in my favorite TV show because I have been obsessed with this show. Um, unfortunately, I could not put Dexter as my favorite TV show for this month because the first episode... I can't even speak. The first... Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay, apart from the show I'm about to tell you guys, Dexter is by far my favorite TV show for the month of September. It did air September 29th, 30th? I don't even remember. But yes, I saw Dexter in the month of September and I absolutely loved it. It's amazing. Dexter is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. Uh, but what I was watching <laughs> throughout September, uh, totally obsessed with it, was Cajun Justice. Um, anyways, for those of you who don't know what Cajun Justice is, it's amazing. Um, it takes place in New Orleans and it, it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. Some of the episodes are really creepy, uh, and then they get just get really funny. Um, and I absolutely love Cajun Justice. I've been watching it all month long, and apart from Dexter, it's pretty much all I've been watching. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video, and I hope you didn't mind that I threw in a couple things that weren't really beauty or fashion related. Um, I just want to spice it up a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in in a couple days or a day or so, and I will have another video up for you guys. Don't forget to check out all the links below um, for, you know, tutorials and all that kind of stuff, and check out my blog for pictures and updates. Um, also, my Instagram. I post on Instagram pretty much every day. Uh, if you guys would like to take a look at the pictures I have on there, I will have that linked below as well, and I believe it's just cutecouture18 for my Instagram. And my dog is barking in the background because someone's at the house. But, yes, so thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry she's scratching the door. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.